honorable member for Claire Digby. Mr. Speaker, my apologies. Mr. Speaker, the lobster industry in Nova Scotia is a $1 billion industry engaging upwards of 13,000 people from Yarmouth to Cape Britain. Mr. Speaker, yesterday a historic lobster summit was held, bringing together three maritime fisheries ministers and more than 200 fishermen, processors and industry experts to discuss the four key recommendations outlined in the Maritime Lobster Panel report released last fall. Mr. Speaker, will the Minister of Fisheries and Agriculture <coughs> provide the House with an update on the importance of the summit and the industry? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries and Aquaculture. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm only too pleased to do that. It is an historic day today. Uh, today we had the three Atlantic uh, Fisheries Ministers and also the Federal Minister working cooperatively towards moving the lobster industry to a sustainable profitable industry in Nova Scotia and indeed in Atlantic Canada. It, it has been an historic day and as we continue to work together and to try to evolve these industries into a, a profitable industry from the wharf right through to the people that sell the lobsters in the international market. Indeed we have to move forward and grow the economy in the, in the lobster industry as we, as we do in the fishing industry and the other industries that represent. So it's a pleasure to see this happening. It's a wonderful relationship we've struck with the other two provincial governments and, and, the, pro, and the federal government, and it, it is historic. In the past, there hasn't been that type of cooperation. I'm very proud to say that our government is encouraging that, and we'll move forward to make sure that uh, our industries are profitable now and in the future. Thank you. 